Welcome to the NASCAR Xfinity Series from Daytona. We are starting back here 34th in our number 88 Hellman's Chevrolet. This is our first season with our own team in affiliation with JR Motorsports. We have the meeting McQueen Motorsports and we are going to be driving the number 88 Hellman's Chevrolet for the full time NASCAR Xfinity Series season. So, off the bat here on lap one. We may pass for 30th on the 15 of Colby Howard and the 99 of Josh Balicki. Continue to charge our way through the field. Now going three wide, make yourself up into 27th place here. Now we're going to need Benny Miller to get into the top 25. Make a pass for 23rd around the 98 of Riley Herbst. Right now, the 16 of Carson Hosovar leading the way. We're getting up to 22nd place. Now up as we come first, and we are three wide all over the pack right now. Intense racing contact there with the O2 of Brett Moffitt. Again, crazy shows for me. More contact with the O2 of Brett Moffitt on exit at turn two. Now, oh, Moffitt got loose back there now. We're trying to take Jeffrey Earnhardt four wide, made it through three and four. And around goes the zero Jeffrey Earnhardt. Hard to the outside wall, collects Ben Rhodes, Matt Mills, Quinn Alf, hard, hard crashing. The caution will come out, and Carson Hosovar will win stage one with Jake Buford and Brandon Brown. Now here, on the restart stage two, we're going to be trying to get three wide up here, up into the top 15, nearly take Ryan Truex, Josh Berry, and Drew Dollar four wide. Now go by Jesse Ruggi, Justin Haley, now on the inside, Jordan Anderson. Lap seven. Yeah, three wide in the eighth of the Ryan Vargas and Landon Castle. And we're now going to charge our way into the top five. Around Corey Heim and Anthony Alfredo. Going to go by Tyler Hill for third, and now all that remains is Brandon Brown and Carson Hosovar. Right here, Alex. Three and four, we'll get underneath Brandon Brown, take second away. But coming to the green and white checkers, it's not going to be enough to get Carson Hosovar, who will sweep the stages here at Daytona. Myself coming second in stage number two, just short of that stage. Now on the restart, we pitted for four fresh tires, and he gets a gas, and back 18. We're now up to 12th already, only a lap into the restart. Getting help from our former teammate, of Jesse Uji, as Carson Hosovar continues to lead the way. Now a little bit of contact there with the 08 of Ryan Truex. And maybe a little bit too much. And around goes the 08 of Ryan Truex. Into the outside wall. Oh, the hard crash and collects that was in the, in the big one. Strikes at Daytona on lap 13. Now we'll start ground for a restart in eight here. A couple of laps left in this race. On lap 16. Go around the inside of Drew Dollar and Ryan Vargas. Get by Corey Hyde to get in the third. Now, 
once again, it's just Brandon Brown and Carson Osmar in our way from the lead of the race. And now, help my brakes. We'll pass 68 of Brandon Brown for a second. Now, here we get last season three-time winner, Carson Osmar. Here we will, on lap 17, we will take the lead away from 16, Carson Osmar, our first lead of the race. On lap 17. Trying to block Vargas. Big run for Vargas. Big run from Landon Castle. Yes, I hit the wall. Trying to block that. Good to block Vargas. And around goes Vargas. And the back of the pack goes Ryan Vargas. And another big one's underway. We've got the big one once again here at Daytona. And the caution flag will wave. And we will have overtime. And overtime. We will start the lead and pull away from the pack. Just holding off Brandon Brown and Tyler Hill to win at Daytona. So first, Tyler Hill second, Brandon Brown third, Drew Dollar fourth, Jeremy Cummins fifth, Atlanta Castle sixth, Tony Brayneer seventh, Jamie Ford eighth, Corey Hyde ninth, and Carson Osmar rounds out in the top ten. Now here's the rest of the finishing order. As you can see, a rough finish for Sam Mayer in thirtieth. Standings, we will not take the points here for the first race in a three-way tie with Brandon Brown and Tyler Hill. Most of our fourth, Buford fifth, Heim sixth, Landon Castle seventh, Drew Dollar eighth, Clemens ninth, Brady tenth, Alfredo eleventh, and Kyle Weatherman. Looks like you're currently playing field. There's only one race, so it really does not matter. our victory lane celebration, staying on top of the car, celebrating our victory. Fast lap of the race goes to myself with a 45.803. Most laps led Carson Hosovar, led 16 laps on the day. On the move myself from 34th to 1st, plus 33 positions on the day. And the tough break is going to go to Ryan Truex, started 8th, finished 32nd, minus 24 spots on the day. Now it's a quick look at the playoff standings before we go to some NASCAR Cup Series racing in the Daytona 500. Oh yes, I did forget to say that we are starting commentary now for the rest of the season. There wasn't any commentary for the truck race because my mic wasn't set up, but now it is set up for now on. And the victory burnouts have begun here at Daytona, the NASCAR Xfinity Series after a great race. I won the race, so here's the burnouts after just barely holding off Carson Osamar and Brandon Brown at the line, and what a comeback when it was, as we burn it down. said you can tell everything you need to know about a person by looking them straight in the eyes. A road map into the soul. 20 years of frustration. Day the heartbreaks. The, the, Daytona 500. the triumphs. I want to say thank you. I'm deep my heart. Everywhere you've been and everywhere you're going, welcome to Daytona. A place where if these walls could talk, you'd hear the echoes of every human emotion known to man. It's going to be a drag race all the way back to the start-finish line. Except one. Something's got to give. He's got momentum. Fear. It'll be exactly what we talked about before the race. Championship season. Here we go. It'll be on you. The thing about this place, it'll either make you or break you. Oh! 
trouble. The field is flying apart. A simple choice with extreme consequences. It becomes harder to win every single year. It's magnified, higher pressure, consequences are larger. It's hard. You're going to race against the best of the best. I know that the only lap that pays is the last lap. Today you can either get it done or get it back. And no one cares how. As long as the wheels keep turning. Hello, keep coming. The most anticipated moment in Welcome racing. to the 63rd running of the Great American Race. Here they come, checkered flag. What are you really made of? This is the Daytona 500, and it starts now on Fox. We welcome you live from Daytona International Speedway as there is Chase Elliott, your 2020 champion, hoping in his sixth try to capture the Daytona 500. Kyle Busch, a two-time champ, but 0 for 15 in the Great American Race. Will this be a sweet 16 for him? And after Ryan Newman's wreck in last year's Daytona 500, he's back to try it again. A miraculous recovery. Great to see him at the track with his colleagues and fellow competitors and Denny Hamlin the story trying to make history become the first ever to win three consecutive Daytona 500s and his car owner and partner Michael Jordan NASCAR's rookie owner that's his team his car we've all seen the standard set for success by Michael Jordan Fox Sports welcomes you to race day, presented by Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. And we're bringing you closer to Daytona, the 500, the Great American Race. Our weather so far so good in the 70s, a little breezy, the sun out in between the clouds. There is a chance for rain. Hopefully we'll get through all 500 miles and crown a 2021 Daytona 500 champ. We're at the Chevy Experience Center. And many thanks, by the way, to a NASCAR fan and country music superstar Blake Shelton. His new single, Minimum Wage, is out now. Minimum Wage, that's what you're working for, Clint, by the way. <laughs> and today, NASCAR's biggest day and most important race with Jeff Gordon, three-time Daytona 500 champ, and Clint Boyer. You know, Jeff, you're the California guy, Madison Avenue. He's the he's the driver next door. He's the from the America's heartland, right from behind the wheel, joining us. And uh, nice to have you as part of our pre-race and part of the broadcast of NASCAR on Fox through the year. All right, baby, we are back, and it's time to serve up the top 20 racers left in the field. What happens when the nice guy smile meets the outlaw smirk? You get two former Daytona winners in the 10 spot. Arizona and Georgia have strong representation in row number nine. Peaches and chimichangas for everybody. Well, Daniel Suarez has his plate full as he gives Corey LaJoy some good old-fashioned side eye. In row number seven, Two Mile Kyle is looking to finally go the distance with two-time runner-up Ryan Blaney. And his NASCAR's favorite son continues to chase a 500 victory. He joins the fringe guy, Ryan Priest, in row six. Make no mistake, a barbecue is not a barbecue unless there's some sliced bread. Joey Logano joins the only driver whose helmet has a thin edible candy shell, Kyle Busch, in a rowdy row five. In row four, behold the old dogs. You want a piece of my heart? Row three boasts the bell of the ball and Bubba. You wanna be in the show. Scores will certainly be settled between these Southern boys and Road Deuce. And then there were two. Slick Billy Byron buckles up beside pole sitter Alex Bowman, the showman, who's revving to take the Daytona spotlight once and for all. This is your starting lineup. Now grab a seat, please. Grab a napkin, okay? And once and for all, let's watch these guys eat. Kevin James and uh, the Netflix show is the crew. If you're a fan of Kevin James, NASCAR, entertainment, you'll want to tune in. We welcome back uh, Michael Waltrip, two-time Daytona 500 champion with us. And we have a unique way to present the, uh, the grid walk here. The driver 
cars are ready, and it's great. We Yes, we have some fans in attendance here at Daytona International Speedway enjoying the flyover, ready to go 500 miles. And let's head upstairs. 20 years of NASCAR on Fox. Fox NASCAR, the Daytona 500. It's always a great way to start the season. Most important day, an important race. So the guy to take us through it, as he has for the last two decades, with a couple of interesting guys by his side, Mike Joy. Mike, take it away. Thank you, Chris. Hi, everybody. And, Chris, thanks for the best pre-race show ever. That was fantastic. 20 years ago, when we launched NASCAR on Fox, I stood here with a mixture of excitement for the new season and trepidation. I had new booth partners, Daryl Waltrip and Larry McReynolds. I didn't get much sleep last night either. I've got a known quantity in Jeff Gordon, who's won the 500 three times and is a member of the NASCAR Hall of Fame. And then... Clint Boyer has two top fives in the Great American Race. And how about 2010 in the backstretch? You were second to oh, Jamie Mack. Let me tell you something. That can happen so fast. So many times I thought I was in the right spot at the right time coming into the closing laps of this Great American Race, the Daytona 500. It is so difficult to weather the storm in a 500-mile race and get to the end. I never got it done, but, Jeff, how, how many times you get it done? Tell us. <laughs> go ahead and tell everybody how many times. For all of the excitement, the pageantry, the speed, and the fun, every one of these drivers hoping to win the Daytona 500 got a harrowing reminder last year on the final lap of how dangerous this sport can be. Newman, who had that harrowing crash, is in this race today. Fox NASCAR brings you the Daytona 500. So let's have a look at the Tubi starting grid and meet the 40 drivers in today's race. Hendrick teammates on the front row in Chevrolet's. William Byron will go to the rear in a backup car. Austin Dillon won in 18. He starts right next to the driver. He spun out on the last lap to win it. Al Marola. A couple of youngsters trying to make some noise. Christopher Bell and Bubba Wallace in Toyotas. And two former Daytona 500 winners, Ryan Newman in 2008 and Kevin Harvick the year before. And row five, Joey Logano, and beside him, Kyle Busch, 57 cup wins, but never a 500 win. How about row six, Ryan Priest, Chase Elliott, defending 2020 champion, never won the Daytona 500 yet. And row seven, Kyle Larson, Ryan Blaney alongside him, two-time runner-up in the 500. Row eight, Daniel Suarez. You just heard his co-owner, Pitbull, give the command alongside Corey LaJoy. Let me take this thing over. Row nine, pair of teammates, David Reagan, Michael McDowell. Row 10, our very own Jamie McMurray. Hasn't been in the cars in two years. Look out. Kurt Busch. And then Tricky Ricky, Ricky Stenhouse, two-time Super Speedway winner. Look out. Keep an eye on him and Chris Busch, his teammate. Road 12, Matt Denabeto and Brad Keselowski. That's going to be a good one to keep an eye on. Bad Brad. Road 13, Denny Hamlin going for three straight, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, three straight. And his teammate, Martin Shrek Jr., going to be a fantastic row there. There's rookie of the year, Cole Custer, alongside Joey Gase in the 14th row. Double Xfinity champ, Tyler Reddick with Chase Briscoe. Eric Jones now driving for King Richard Petty and 62-year-old 1990 winner Derek Cope. Quinn Howe in his second 500 and Ross Chastain moves to the Chip Ganassi team. Cody Ware makes his second Daytona 500 and the youngest driver in the field, 21-year-old Anthony Alfredo. Wisconsin Josh Balicki is in his first 500 and B.J. McLeod in a brand new team that he co-owns with Matt Tiff. Then the drivers who were added to the field based on qualifying time, the Xfinity champ Austin Sindrick, who won yesterday, and Kaz Grala from Massachusetts. Let's say we dial up Denny Hamlin. Hey, Denny, this is Jeff. And, and uh, here we go. Welcome back to the Daytona 500. Thanks to NASCAR on Fox for the intro to this race. And now we begin here at 23rd here on lap number three. We try to block Suarez. A little bit too much contact. Around goes Daniel Suarez into Zane Smith and Chase Briscoe and Daniel Hemrick. 
hard crashing and the caution will come out early here at Daytona. Now on the restart, we are going to pass Michael McDowell, Ryan Priest, and Bell as we get into 18th here in stage number one. Your current leader is the seven of Corey LeJoy, who won the pole, which is crazy. And so now here we go. And all oh, the big, oh my god, the big one, Brad Keselowski and many others. Oh my, what happened? Man, I'm going to get a full replay of this real quick. Let me just skip through here to when the caution occurred. So sorry for this little long skip through, but just got to get to where we are. So here we go. Lap number seven. We're gonna try to block Kislowski on the bottom. And he's going to go crashing hard in the background. Takes out Jimmy Johnson. A vicious, vicious crash. So here's where we were. The big crash right there. Brad Kislowski involved. Well, Jimmy Johnson involved. Ryan Priest involved. Bowman involved. Hard. Hard crashing here at Daytona, and that will end stage number one. And Corey LaJoy, your post will be your stage one winner, holding off Ryan Blaney, Austin Sindrick, Tyler Reddick, and Harrison Burton in the top five. So, congratulations to LaJoy. Now, here on lap 12, and stage number two, Zane Smith is gonna blow a tire, and around goes Zane Smith over to Kyle Larson. No caution. I don't know why, but that's not called a yellow. We stay green. Say Smith will drop to the rear. Now we are trying to get back to the lead around the 20 Harrison Burton. And we will take the lead from Harrison Burton. And that's number 14. Trying to hold off the 20. A little bit of contact. Nice corner. More contact with the 20 of Harrison Burton. And a lot of contact. He's going to get really loose and we're going to get shot. Take the lead right there from him. Now we're gonna try to block Eric Jones. Now he'll get underneath me. Now we're three wide for the lead at Daytona. Myself, Harrison, Burton, Eric Jones, Harrison, Burton away. So I thought now here comes Haley Deegan rolling through into second place. As we try to regroup and get back to take this lead, and we will take the lead back to the fourth of Eric Jones. Now he's about to get clear. Now we'll get clear of Eric Jones as Haley Deegan shoves us back to the lead here stage number two. Lap number 17, we come through the line just holding off the field to win stage number two, our first stage win of the season. Then on reserve, we'll be climbing back a little bit because we four fresh tires. Two tires in the stage one. So now we are in fourth. Austin Cindric leading the way over Noah Gregson and myself. We're going to make some contact with Noah Gregson. And now, and he's sitting for the lead. Oh, big contact. Really big. Sponsor. And we are going to take the lead. Lap 23. Trying to hold off the field. We can't hold off Tyler Reddick. To the inside he goes. And to the lead, Tyler Reddick will go. Lap 24. Get the lead back by just a few inches here over Tyler Reddick. Who's going to get the push first? And we're actually going to make some contact here. With Haley Dean. So we go over there. We're going to block Tyler Reddick. We're going to get Tyler Hard into the outside wall. Spinning into the pack, and shockingly, NASCAR decides not to throw the caution for this incident, and that really just led the race to be between myself and the top five until this happens. Jimmy Johnson, tire blown into the wall, hard into the wall, in the upside, upside down, and the caution will come out. We don't have a restart. We hit it for ninth here, and it's overtime restart. Now we're trying to get our way back up to the lead to try to win the race. Here we are, white flag, final lap of the Daytona 500. Joey Legali, Austin Dillon second, myself third. Ty Gibbs fourth. Here we go, we're going to get around Ty Gibbs. Now we're trying to get Austin Dillon with the side draft. They start drafting here. Joey Legali, Joey Legali's going to run out of gas on the last lap of the race. Myself and Ryan C will come through to take the Legali's hopes. Go up and deal with us. We will now come to the check flag and win. The Daytona 500 once again. The top 10, myself first, second place, Mara, Ryan C, 
Kazbrala third, Austin Hill fourth, Ty Youth fifth, sixth, Timmy Hill, Daniel Hemrick in seventh, Noah Grayson in eighth, John Hernimacek in ninth, and Cole Custer rounds out your top ten. Now for the rest of the results, so top 15 for Mel, Larson, Logano, Sindrick, and Swartz. Top 20 for Ty Dillon, LaJoy, all the way down to 25th on the big stage. And St. Smith's, which is last DNFing, and James Davison DNFs, which is 39th, Bowman, 36th, Elliott, 35th, Byron, 35th, Jim I, Johnson, 32nd, Kyle Bush, 31st. Rough finishes for some playoff drivers. Now the standings, after race one, we have the points lead by nine over Casagrala. Then Cedric in third, Sieg is fourth, Briggs in fifth, then Joan, Seagan, Austin Dillon, Ty Gibbs, Timmy Hill, Hemrick, Dimitrick, Custer, Bell, Blaine, Larson, the top 16, and Chase Drivers after, after just one race. And we are celebrating the Harley J. Earl Trophy for our fifth Daytona 500 victory. Fast slap of the race. Not showing at the moment. And I guess it's not going to show it. So we are going to go back to the check out the current playoff grid after the Daytona 500. playoff standings at the Daytona 500. We are, of course, first and locked into the playoffs with our victory. And then it's Casgrail second, Cindric third, Ryan Sieg fourth, Noah Gregson fifth, Eric Jones, Haley Deegan, Austin Dillon, Ty Gibbs, Timmy Hill, Hemrick, Nemechek, Custer, Bell, Blaney, and Larson in at the moment. Joy Logano, first guy out by two points. And thank you for watching, guys. Much appreciated. And I will see you in the next one at Auto Club Speedway. And let the burnouts begin. As we have won the Daytona 500 on a wild last lap turn of events. And now we just burn it down to celebrate yet another Daytona 500. And I believe this is two in a row. And our fifth overall. Now we are safe into the playoffs as we've been every season. Quest for championship number six.